Okay, as opposed to revenue recognition, the opposite side would be expenses. So the matching principle here represents guidelines for uh, guidelines for accountants on how to record and capture expenses. So all the expenses, there are some of the examples there, salaries, rent, utility, advertising. These are the costs that incurred that supports the company generate revenue from clients, from customer. Okay, so if you want to sell something, you need a location. You may need to rent a store, rent a warehouse to store up all the inventories. You definitely need personnel. You need to hire people. You have to have a human resource department to hire um, people with certain professional knowledge to help you actually sell the product or keep track of different processes in the business. You have to advertise your product. You may be able to do some flyers or have some commercials on TVs. Utility bill, definitely, if you rent a place, you, need, you have some of the water bills, electricities, all of these needs to be actually paid out in order to make this operation actually work and happen. Okay, matching principle guides accountants to record all of these expenses, the costs that happened during a certain period of time. As long as it happens within this period of time and it relates to the revenue that you generated within this period of time, it ha all has to be accumulated and captured match against the revenue that you recorded. Okay, so this essentially is the idea of how income statement comes from. Remember income statement and identify at the end whether there's net income or net loss, right? So the idea there is to match up all the expenses, the costs that you incurred within this month. This intended purpose is to support all the revenues that you generated within this month or within a quarter. So we want to know all the costs that we actually incurred, we accumulated, whether or not it's still less than the revenue that we generated. If it's less than that, then there's net income. If not, this period of time, there will be net loss. Okay, so matching principle essentially is going back to the idea of income statement, which earlier we already talked about what the statement is, um, what are the accounts that falls into this statement. All the revenues and all the expenses. Okay, but the theoretical background here, we call this revenue minus expenses. The idea under this is matching principle. We're trying to match all the costs that incurred within this month against revenue to see if there's profit left. Okay, now some of the expenses you may find easier to link to um, net income, for example, if you if a company hires um, people to actually help them, salesperson to help them advertise the product, to actually sell the product to client, persuade them to purchase the products, and these people, their salary, these salesperson, their salary, typically a portion will be tied to how much the sal um, sales revenue has been generated. So the more sales revenue there is, the more commission will be given to salesperson. So this type of salary expense is easily linked to sales revenue. But there are still other types that is supporting the business in the background, like rental expense, you may think utility expense. These are the costs that runs in the background. You may not necessarily think it actually supports the differences in sales revenue, but you definitely need a location to store up the inventory. Right? You need a place to actually let customer to come in to purchase the items. Utility expenses there to support the entire operation on a daily basis. All right, so these are the type of expenses that you may not necessarily think it links to sales revenue, but it actually does. So these are still the costs that we add up and we subtract from sales revenue. Okay, so overall, the two principles, revenue recognition, matching principle, together will determine what's the amount of revenue recorded that will be recorded this month, what will be the amount of expenses recorded this month, and overall, what is the net income and net loss that's generated within a certain period of time. Okay, in summary, that's what this, these few slides means.
Any questions so far? There's a lot of theoretical background here. <laughs>